What's up, dudes? Today it's a YouTube. I am the Delmeister, and this is known as Occupied. It's a found footage uh, paranormal horror short. It's um, but I fail to see why it's called short since the video is 13 minutes in length. Because I'm looking at this like right now. I'm filming this on my iPad. Like I screen record on my iPad, and then I film it on here. Uh, so it's kind of like a weird thing for me. Uh, you'd think I'd get used to sitting in this chair by now. And anyway, uh, also I hope you guys like my new do. <laughs> Finally got it cut after so many videos later. Uh, anyway, I'm going to get right to it. Uh, I'm a little hesitant about this because I thought maybe I'd learn my lesson right now with these uh, found footage horrors. Hang on. Okay, it's still recording. So, I guess I'm going to get to it right now. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and click the bell to get notifications about more of these videos coming soon. So, without further ado, I am clicking play right now. The following footage was recovered from the basement of an abandoned building, includes frightening sequences, and may not be suitable for children. Just as I finished talking that, there's like this great amount of like creepy music. It's a little loud. Can I turn it down with these headphones? Weird, it's not working. Oh well. Oh, I know. There, that's better. Okay. Whoa. I'm, uh, my name's Chuck McBay, and I'm here in downtown Manhattan, uh, a couple blocks from Hell's Kitchen. A friend of mine from Indiana was doing a job up here at an old abandoned church, and um, they were doing some renovating, some fixing it up, and there was some... Uh, weird stuff supposed to be happening down in the basement and I'm all about checking stuff out so I I don't live too far from here I live in Jersey I thought that I would uh, I would check it out it is uh, after midnight and I'm gonna I'm gonna see I'm gonna videotape it and see what if there's anything down there that is weird for some reason there's huh. I don't know if the city has lights on parts of the building I'm getting as above so below vibes right. from this I'm trying not to talk when he talks here so yeah I saw that it was um Open for some reason too, which is really weird. So, but I'm gonna lock it. Don't lock it. Okay, there's a light on here. I don't know if there'll be other lights. Oh, this is comforting. Oh, they got some construction equipment. There's a door. Right here that I'm gonna go into. That's the door he told me to go into. So we're gonna check it out, see if it's open, which I don't know. Oh boy, I'm also it getting is, grave encounter vibes here. It is open. Um before I go in, for what I like I said, I don't I don't even know why the lights are on down there, but um, supposedly this place was shut down because of whatever weird things going on down in the basement um, and it's been closed for a couple months now this is just the first time that I could come out so um, the only lights I'm gonna have is the light on this camera it's pretty bright uh, and that's what we're gonna use to go down in the basement and see if we see anything this is open this is kind of freaky so maybe there, there is something I don't know that's kind of giving it away here okay something happened when um, I came into the building the camera went off and I was stopped recording I don't know why so that's kind of a weird thing but again I don't believe in ghosts or anything like that so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down to the basement Right here. Ooh. And let's check out what they said was weird. 
as they were working on the buildings. Supposedly there is some, the story goes if there's some spirit being that will take over a person's body. And uh, so there was, they had noticed some body down here that would come and go. And supposedly their soul is trapped until they can take over another body. And then that body is trapped until it can take over another body. I don't get it, but we're gonna check it out and see what happens. You can tell by the look on his face that as he was telling that story, he didn't really believe it. Why is for staying like so uh, far? It looks just like a normal. Normal uh, basement. Again, the only the only light that I have is the light on my camera. Hmm. And should anything happen to that, I do have infrared, okay. which uh, will allow. Allow me to see in the dark. A couple of these doors got locked. This kind of creepy. Of don't. Wow, a lot of dishes. It's an old, old church. Oh, it's a church. It's over a hundred years old. Beginning. Well, over a hundred years old, and they were redoing it. Looks like they got that bathroom done, which kind of makes me want to have to go to the bathroom. Oh, great. All right, I'm just keeping that on that. Right. They really get, 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 get them props for like making like a found footage film kind of thing. Like we got like the elements of a found footage here. Steps go up to... That might be the door that I saw outside. And now that the electricity's off, but yet the exit lights are on, which is weird. There's the switch, oil, heat. Okay. Wow. Well, this is kind of creepy. A lot of abandoned lights. Without all that for. Check this out. What in the world is this? Well, this is an old church, so maybe it's some sort of. Maybe it's Mary? I don't know. It's like. I found the Ark of the Covenant. Oh, very funny, Harrison Ford. Indiana Jones all over again. She scared me for a second there. I thought maybe something was there. All right, well, play basketball, anyway. Hey? <laughs> I'm getting like lost trying to find this. Nothing down there. Exit light. I don't hear anything. Looks like the guys left everything. They must have been pretty freaked out well, to leave it all here. Out. Definitely creepy. There's that ladder I saw but, earlier. No spirits. Ah, here's a bathroom. And it looks like it's been redone. Bunch of stand in showers, too. Huh. Hello, how are you? That's a cool shot. I think I'm going to use the restroom, so I shall be turning this off for a moment, but I will need the light, so goodbye. Oh, what's gonna happen? Oh, okay. Nothing down there. I can see.
That's weird. Oh boy. I don't see anything. Something's wrong with my light. Oh man. I'm gonna have to turn on infrared. I thought infrared was green. Oh wait, never mind. I'm thinking night vision. What? What is, what is that? that? Hey. Oh no. Hey, kid. Oh, here it comes. Are you... You alright? Don't go near him. Don't go near what him! You, what are you doing down here? What? Not about Homeless? Is that a... It's a boy? Oh, no, I think it's a girl. Yeah, I... I can't really tell. You need... You need... Some help? You need some food? Or something? Come on. <gasps> yeah, run, 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 run. Romans 8.11 That scared me. Hey, my name's Earl Martin. I'm the writer, producer, director, and even got a chance to act in Occupied. I hope you had as much fun watching it as I had in making it. Uh, some of you might wonder if there are such things as spirits, whether good or evil. Yeah, you no, may I'm wonder not if there's a god. Now. Turn him off. I'm not gonna lie, it had some. I'm not gonna lie, Mr. Martin. You did provide like a really good like. Uh paranormal vibe to the found footage horror film. I just wish that this was more explored. Like, I know you gave, like, a detailed ver version of it, but it would be nice to, like, have, like, um... I don't know what I'm, I'm looking for here. It, it The question here is, but I'm gonna give this a 6 out of 10 uh, because of how you stuck to the originality of the found footage horror genre. So, congratulations on that. I think I'm going to be done with found footage horror films, though, for a while, because, like, every now and then I get, like, spooked. Like, those Five Nights at Freddy's ones really got to me, and I think I should have learned my lesson by now. So I think maybe I'll watch something funny. Like, I hear there's, like, this video of Rodney Dangerfield's best jokes or something like that, so I think maybe I'll watch that. Uh, but regardless, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. I'm the Dillmeister signing out. Thank you and good night. It has been a pleasure, and I will see you guys uh, in two more days from now. So, take care, and... Well, just stay safe. Shah!